Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here. This video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video, and this time we're playing with sub Terrors again. I played with this deck a little bit in the past, and haven't really touched it since. I can't even remember if the Metal Foes sub uh games that I ended up playing ever made it live, because uh, I can't remember if I actually got to film them or not, because it was that weird point where Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro is crashing on me on a random and frequent occurrence. Uh, so I don't even remember if that was even a thing that got played on the channel, but I definitely did play sub Terrors at some point in the past. I just can't remember if the uh, if the Metal Foe sub Terror deck was actually something that got successfully filmed or not uh, when we got Nemesis Archer, but we have something new to work with now. We've got sub Terror Fiendus, which is an amazing, amazing card. I've never seen just a card that hits so many points of what an archetype needed being printed this late in the archetype's existence other than cards like Spellbook of Judgment and stuff like that, like cards that just break the archetype wide open. Now whether or not this will happen for this archetype, I'm really uh, skeptical. I don't think that this one card's specific in applications for this deck are going to allow it to just push this deck over the edge of like being literally garbage tier uh, because that's basically what sub terrors have and are like being in the game. Uh, but this is an experimental deck list. Um, there's basically no real reason to run like Nemesis Archer and stuff like that in a list like this. Um, Fiendish literally is like the starter card. It is what we've been wanting for literally sets. It's surprising that we've gotten this during the last set that the sub terrors are being printed in. But I mean, I guess, whatever. Uh, but Sub, sub Terror Fiendus is a one for one target, so it's a level one. It's a normal summonable monster that can be searched off Hidden City, which can flip itself face down, which is great. It can also flip itself face down and then summon sub terrors from your hand or graveyard in face down or face up defense position. So what that allows you to do is this has a lot of really cool applications. Like you can use it, normal summon it, you can search for it with Hidden City. You can normal summon it, flip itself face down, summon any of your big uh, behemoths out of your hand, essentially. You can summon them straight out of your hand in face down defense position off of this card's effect. Then you can use the Hidden City to flip it face up, apply it's a flip effect, and then use its secondary effect that flips itself face down again in the same turn to essentially allow you to, you know, have a good bit of aggression in what you're able to do because of the fact that Fiendish can, like, let it summon itself face down. So you can summon it face down, flip it face up with Hidden City, and then flip it back face down with its own effect, and then spam the board with the rest of your uh, behemoths that you have in hand, potentially. Uh, stuff like that. So, like I said, this is an experimental build, playing the Taratray engine, because Taratray seems like the, like, strongest thing that this deck has to offer, essentially, uh, because this card is so inherently good with what you, uh, you have with this, uh, like, little behemoth engine. Uh, if you're able to stick Tar Tray, then you're able to stick a lot of like pressure for the rest of the game. Uh, there's a lot of things that could possibly change about the deck list, but I don't know if Sub Terra Fiendus is a card that allows this deck to even stand on its own two feet in a meta game, especially not the meta game we have now or the one that we're about to get in Maximum Crisis. I don't think this deck will compete with something like True Dracos, uh, specifically because of how slow it is. Like flip flop control is incredibly slow paced. The like better flip deck is Shadals, essentially. But enough rambling. Let's just not waste any more time and let's just jump straight into the game and uh, see how it does. Because I mean, Fiendus is pretty good for what it does with the uh, with the effect negation and stuff. It literally negates like any card um, and lets you like reset your stuff. So I mean, I guess that's pretty cool. But Let's just not waste any more time and let's just jump into the game and see how it goes. But my hopes are not that really high, I guess I could say. But anyway, into the game. All right, so hopefully, yes. Winning rock, paper, scissors is always the most important feeling thing in the world. Um, specifically because of how this stuff uh, tends to operate. But so this is kind of all right as far as how we get to work with this. Uh, we get to get the, um, the uh, Fiendus which is a good starter card, so I mean, this deck, this deck essentially does have 12 starter cards now uh, in the form of, like, Instant Fusion for Raijin is also just a starter card. Uh, now, I wish we had a little bit more in the way of uh, flipping things face up. I probably should just play Ghost Trick Scare in this deck in general, uh, but basically, I, the, the Sub-Terror deck is still probably just subpar. <laughs> Sub-Terror is subpar, essentially. But So we'll do this, we'll just Book of Moon this thing, uh, having a normal summonable monster that can flip itself face down is a huge, huge thing. Um, but I can, uh, I can then do this. I can do this to negate. Um, well, let's see, it has to change it face down and then, ah, that's so fucking bad. 
Um, I mean, I get to negate the ghost ogre, we, but I don't get to do anything else. Great! There went my fucking starter card. Oh, <laughs> great. Great! Great! See, that's why we do these videos in the way that we do them. We don't sugarcoat shit here, right? We don't sit back and we don't make these videos that are like, Oh, look at how good this card is! Look how good this deck is! I can film ten replays, of which I only win three of them, and then show you three replays. Uh, the three replays that I won. Hmm, nifty that, eh? What the fuck is this thing doing? Uh, you can summon it in defense position, then destroy a card you control. If this card is destroyed by battle card effect... Okay, so you just discard a card, spell summon itself, target itself to destroy itself, um, and then uh, and then it summons a Christron dude. Okay, that seems fair. Alright, well, so now I'm in the situation where I've got to draw another hidden city. Uh, or just instant fusion. Instant fusion would be uh, doable as well. What is this? Uh... Let's see, convention come from your graveyard, special summon Christian from hand, yeah, yeah. You can target a face of card you control, you cannot special summon from the extra deck for the rest of the set machines. Destroy this card if you do special summon Christian tuner from your deck. So, okay, I see. He's just loading up his graveyard with Christians and shit to use, I suppose. Uh, is the level 5 dude's uh, effect during either player's turn? Or is it just during your turn? It looks like it's just during your turn. Uh, and then this lets him banish it to special summon. Or, no, banish this card. This is the one that he discarded. That's right. I've, I'm not super familiar with Christrons. Uh, I'm aware of how broken their synchros are, uh, specifically the big ones. But uh, and then they basically play on my turn, almost in depth, like entirely. Uh, but this thing lets him special summon a non-tuner in, in the graveyard, special summon it, and then you synchro, and then uh, and then those synchro materials are banished, so you can't use grave effects. Okay, that's fair. Uh, but honestly, like, goddamn, how the fuck? I got Ghost Ogred on my monster that needed to flip face down to summon any of these from hand. I was gonna literally summon, like, all of them from hand. Um, except maybe, except maybe, uh, Ultra Mephes. I was probably gonna summon this and the Umastrix. Because I was gonna put this face down, special this from hand, off of this thing's effect, then book this, special the Umastrix, book it. Uh, it's still, by no means, like, ideal as far as the situation. But still, like, it's workable. It's workable, right? I did select a card to discard, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna destroy this. Um, it seems like I've known what this card is, uh, and then uh, during either player's turn, except so I, if I activate a card effect that would target a Christron, you can banish it and negate it. I drew another Twin Twister, so it looks like I get to fucking lose. Look at me, duelist. <laughs> Congratulations. Like I said. We're not in the business of sugarcoating shit around here, and that's exactly what this Subterra deck still is. Even though Subterra Fiendus is still 100% a fantastic card, I don't think I've ever seen, I don't think I've ever seen a better deck get a worse bit of support. Uh, or no, a, a worse, I said that backwards. I don't think I've seen a worse deck get a better piece of support, like, ever. Like, <laughs> and he just black rose me for, like, almost no reason, because... <laughs> what a wonderful life, but it's fine because he gets to he gets to use the uh, the sulf uh, uh, sulfefnir <laughs> sulfefnir. All right, he just gets to use that over and over again. And that's going to be his advantage based engine. Whereas in my situation, uh uh, I I have no such luck. I have no such business. Um, but yeah, like I said, Subterra Fiendus is a fantastic card. Fantastic card in a shitty deck. <laughs> The, the joke is sub terrors more like subpar, uh, sub optimal, sub everything. It's just not a it's not a decent enough deck to carry itself outside of Fiendus. Um, and the fact that like your one normal summon getting disrupted by something like a fucking ghost ogre, like what is that? Like what what an interaction! I didn't even consider that as an interaction when I was originally thinking about this deck. I was like, oh yeah, this this seems pretty all right. No, Ghost Ogre on any one of these is just, or the Fiendus is just a problem. Uh, so that's just a thing. <laughs> Wee! I'm just gonna lose this one on the Lolo, very easily and very quickly. Please, end my suffering. Um, end it, please. That's the problem here is that he's playing Christron, so he's not going to end it for at least another turn. Uh, oh yeah, look at that brick. <laughs> look at this. Look at this garbage ass deck! 
Look at this garbage archetype. Oh, oh, and you can't even tell me that, oh, your build just sucks. Because it's literally playing, like, the best cards in the archetype maxed out. Uh, like, it's playing literally everything that it needs to be playing. That's so fucking dumb. Ooh, Cell Synchro. Why is this picture not loaded? Out of all the cards, why is that the picture that's not loaded? That's silly. That's silly and that's stupid. Why have you not loaded, my man? I mean, I know what you are and I know what you do. There you are. Hell yeah. Alright. That was a weird one. Please just fucking kill me. Please. Just fucking kill me. Christ. Please. I want it. I need it. I don't want to play this shitty deck anymore. Kill me. Quicker. Quickly. Faster. Harder. Please. For Christ's sake, kill me! <laughs> Fuck! Stop trying to trish me! And just kill me! I'm pretty sure, like, you had game on board with a different synchro. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Goddamn! Please! Kill me! Please! Please fucking kill me! No! He's not killing me! No! No! Kill me! Kill me! <laughs> Please! I don't want to play this fucking deck! I don't want to be sitting here any longer than I have to! Because this deck sucks! You get your starter card Ghost Ogre and you just lose the rest of the game because you can't activate another card for the entire rest of the duel. Uh, look, this card's not activatable. Fucking kill me! I can't even summon a card and like suicide it. I'm not gonna surrender because that's silly. That that puts up the false flag. Kill me! Kill me! Thank you. <laughs> Please. <laughs> for fuck's sake. I don't even know if I want to play this deck for another video or not. Like, goddamn. I just got ghost ogred and then was not able to play the rest of the game. I. Uh, fuck. That's not even. Like I said, that's not even a card that I took into account for when, uh, when I was trying to, like, think of the deck. But, like, this deck is so ass. Holy shit. I feel like I have to play another game with this deck just so that I just so that I get another result of this deck sucking dick even when you draw the best starter card in the deck period like holy shit um, like I feel like this deck is good only if you open broken and that means you have to have a hand of like terror top and pre prep and all this other nonsense fuck that was not a feel good time but anyway as always guys thanks for watching and let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below I think sub terrors are sub ass uh, I think that the deck is absolutely terrible. I believe I exemplified it the best that I could have possibly said when I stated that I've never seen a worse deck get a better support card. Like, the deck is absolutely terrible. It's like Konami forgot how to print TCG exclusive archetypes after doing it right for so long. And then, they print a broken card for it that does not offset the fact that the rest of the deck sucks. So, like, we, we have some problems here, but... Be sure to like and subscribe and check out the links in the description to my Facebook and Patreon pages. If you want to help support me directly, then Patreon is the best way to do so. It also gets you access into a monthly raffle giveaway at the end of each month, so definitely check out the details of that over on Patreon. At the end of this month, I'm giving away a box of Maximum Crisis. It'll be about a week into May once the set hits stores, but I'm doing a giveaway for a box of Maximum Crisis if you're interested. Then definitely go check out Patreon. And also... One of the reward tiers gets you access into my Discord server, which is where Earthworm came from, and that's exclusively who I play for these videos, unless I'm, like, live streaming or something. But if you're looking to buy or sell while also indirectly supporting the channel, then be sure to check out Second Chance Gaming's website, which is also linked in the description. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, and I'm a big fan of how they do business with what I've dealt with so far. Definitely check out their site and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But other than that, that is it for this video. Again, thanks for watching, thanks for your time, and as usual, guys, Take care. I have no idea if I'm going to play this for another video or not. I feel like Black Wings is a better deck than this one currently in the format. Because at least that deck tries to do something, and that deck has starter cards. But anyway, goodbye everybody.